So I think I finally have this recipe now perfected enough to share with you the final version of it. And I may have posted another version or two of this where I wasn't using uh, the tortillas. But this is very simple. And now that I think that I have it pretty close to perfect, I'll go ahead and share, you, share with you how I do this. First, let me get this set up. And let me just tell you that basically what I have here is I have one egg and a soft banana. Soft banana means a banana that the outer peel part of it is starting to brown. It's very mushy on the inside. So you want to just break one egg into a bowl with a banana. I have two tortillas. You can see they're almost the size of your average plate. I have some butter and I have my cast iron skillet. The first thing we're going to do is add a considerable amount of butter to the skillet. Probably more than that. If I was to guess, you're probably looking at about two tablespoons. Might even be closer to three by the time we get it done. You want a layer of butter in the bottom of this pan. While I'm waiting on that to melt, I'm also going to take my bananas and eggs and I'm going to get them mixed up. You want the eggs to be coated or you want the bananas to be covered with the eggs. Something like that. Once the butter melts, we're going to add the first tortilla and then immediately add the banana and egg mixture on top of it. I'm going to call that good enough. You want to leave the edge of this somewhat open with no bananas or eggs on it and you kind of want to get your bananas somewhat flat. Can't always get them all flat but get it close. Again, but make sure you leave some around the edge. Now what you're going to watch, you're going to keep an eye on your tortilla and it'll start to like rise and that's what we're going to be looking for to happen. There's always some egg that always, you know, seeps out of your tortilla. That's fine too. If the butter evaporates all the way, you want to add more. So you always want this to be in butter. You're basically frying this tortilla in butter. Now I take and splash a little bit of the butter on the edges. You could use a brush too. Actually, I think I will use a brush. Having the butter on the top of the tortilla is going to help with sealing the edges when we add the second tortilla. As you start to see air bubbles form in the edge of the tortilla, that's when you're going to add the second tortilla. And then you're going to use a wooden sp spatula or something and you're just going to go around the edges of it like this and kind of like push down. So what we're trying to do is get these to stick together. Now 
then there's going to come a time where it's going to be time to turn this. You're basically just going to flip it. This is where having butter is usually important also because you can see that the tortillas actually soak the butter up. Again, this is not a proper Thai roti, but this is kind of like my cheat way of making it. It's very quick, it's very fast. It doesn't really take any preparation time because the tortillas are already ready to stick in the skillet. Now the second side always cooks faster than the first side and we are done. Don't want to waste any eggs, so I took that out. So this is basically what it looks like. Now is where you would take and drizzle your condensed milk on the top of it. What I've got is just plain old Walmart sweetened condensed milk. I just barely opened it up a little bit. And there you have it. Now all you need is a fork and an appetite. This is so good. You've got to try it.